Hey guys, here we are back in Access, and in the previous video we looked at uh, using various operators for database validation, or data validation, actually not database, data validation, so where we validated the input for a particular field. Now we are looking at some of the operators, how we use them in queries. Here you can see I have my stock uh, of my computer store. Do you remember the computer store database? Here it is. And I've got all of this various stock. And what I've done is I've just created a, a couple of uh, queries for you just to show you how these various operators work some of them you should probably know already some might be new i don't know so let's have a look let's start from the top work our way down and let us begin so here we have a query let me show you what it does and this is showing me all the stock that falls within a certain price range and that is 10,000 and 20,000 rand let's have a look at the design view and if i just move this over just a little bit there there we go so here in my retail price field i've created my criteria here and i've used the words between and i've used the word and so between 10,000 and 20,000 all right, I can use 10,000, 20,000 because they're numbers and this is a numerical field and the words between and and are operators that access recognizes. So it's all good. So there you go, between this and this. You could use the between and for dates as well, which is pretty handy. So that's the between function over there. Let's look at the next one. The next one is not null is not null so what does that mean is not null remember the word null means empty so is not null so here if i look at the design view of this query in my packaging field i've said you know what i want to show everything that is not empty so everything that does have packaging material so if i run the query you can see that all of this packaging there is not one empty field at all not one empty cell anywhere in this queries let's go back there is not null is not empty all right that means that the next one is null means is empty okay so this is the same as the one before however what i've done this time is in the packaging field i have given it the criteria of is null so show me everything that is empty is blank so have a look there and you can see here we have the packaging there that is not existing that's the worst english ever there we have the packaging that is not existing yes well you know what i mean all right the next one like like so what does like do well this is actually a very very cool one especially when you have lots of text that you gotta you gotta like sift through and find something so have a look at what the design view says okay so in my description field i have like intel core i5 and then an asterisk okay so it's going to look for everything that starts with intel core i5 and then the rest because there might be something else attached to the five i don't know so i want to see everything that at least has intel core i5 so if i run the query you will notice that i have four records and they all start with intel core i5 and because i put that asterisk i managed to grab these ones here which have the little hyphen next to them otherwise i wouldn't see those if i didn't have the asterisk not that means not it just <laughs> It means not. Let's just let's look at the design view, then you'll know what I'm saying. <laughs> so here we go. Here I created a query which looked up all of the desktop PCs, and I wanted to show all the desktop PCs, but anything that's not Lenovo, okay? Not Lenovo. Now I want to show you something on Office 365. Okay, this is so cool. I originally typed in not Lenovo asterisk because obviously that's going to have lots of text after the lenovo so i put lenovo asterisk that's in quotations and i said not now if i just move off of that field you'll notice access goes oh man you know, let's give this poor guy a hand and let's just fix it properly so it'll work better and they just put the like in there so you know what if you forget the like hopefully you're on office 365 it'll just pop it in there for you otherwise please don't forget not like lenovo asterisk so let's see what it does it shows me all of the desktop pcs but no lenovo's because lenovo in my mind is a le oh no sorry lenovo you just are okay i'm gonna save that one and the last one is or or well this is just one or the other 
and we can apply this to all kinds of situations. Let's have a look at what I did here. Aha, I looked at the warranty field and I said, you know what, show me all of the products that have no warranty or a lifetime warranty. And there I could put it in the same row as criteria because I use the or operator, there it is there or so if i run it i can see okay lifetime warranty no warranty lifetime warranty no warranty it works it works and that is what or does and there you go guys there are a whole bunch of examples there i will give you some activities in your notebook to get you to really get to grips with how we can use these in different ways